Chapter 1, Levels of Perception Trees are poems that the earth writes upon the sky. Khalil Gibran All our wisdom is stored in the trees. Santosh Kalwar Low-level perception, LLP, sees just a tree. Medium-level perception, MLP, begins to see interconnected detail. High-level perception, HLP, knows the profound interdependence. Sonder, the realization that each random passerby is living a life as vivid and complex as your own. John Koenig LLP low-level perception sees just a person, a dangerously desacralizing perspective. MLP begins to know more detail, like life history and goals. HLP sees a whole suite of nuance fused into a soul. Analogy as the core of cognition. Douglas Hofstadter Analogy Comparing chunks. A tree without nutrients cannot produce fruit. A human without basic needs cannot unleash gifts. Chapter 2. Seed Theory. Life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all. Helen Keller. The energy of a single thought may determine the motion of a universe. Nikola Tesla. When a human's basic needs are met, they unleash wildly fruitful gifts. If their roots are deprived of nutrients, there will be less fruit, if any at all. Cornerstones in our youth have compound interest on our life trajectory. Each human uses North Star Perception, NSP, as a compass for actualization. Analogy, NSP is like Monte Carlo Tree Search, MCTS, in computer science. Every decision leads down different branches on our tree of possibility, TOP. It's critical to be vigilant with the input stream into our neural real estate, NRE, to get really good at parsing for signal toward NSP. We aim for high signal to noise, to reside in heaven well-being. Along the way, we are challenged with tests of faith, TOF. Can you take the necessary leaps to pursue your highest goals? Can you delay your gratification to get two marshmallows instead of one? When a significant trauma occurs, how resilient are you to quickly bounce back? The efficacy and speed at which you heal and resume your trajectory is a crucial trait. Can you go into long periods of deep work on mastery sprints toward your goals? I believe NSP, North Star Perception, Gift Actualization, plays a serious role in the nature of reality. Trajectory Mechanics No tree, it is said, can grow to heaven unless its roots reach down to hell. Carl Jung Do what is meaningful, not what is expedient. Jordan Peterson Analogy Applying Newton's Laws of Motion to the Evolution of Consciousness Inertia is the resistance of consciousness to upgrade its perception, cognitive dissonance. The feather rarely triggers an evolution of consciousness, whereas the sledgehammer acts as a strong forcing function to awaken, become wiser, and share. Sri Aurobindo and the mother Mira Alfasa were the first people that introduced me to the spiritual ascent and descent happening simultaneously. It is ironic that Isaac Newton said, I can calculate the motion of heavenly bodies, but not the madness of people, when his very laws enable great insight into a synthesis between physics and consciousness. Chapter 3 The Edge. 
As your island of knowledge grows, so too does the shoreline of ignorance. John Wheeler Somewhere, something incredible is waiting to be known. Carl Sagan We are all birthed at the base camp of humanity. First is gratitude for our civilizational inheritance. Next is figuring out our unique combinatoric of union, yoga, with the nature of reality. Exposure to options on the buffet and drilling all the way to water ensures a true embodied gnosis of individuation. Plant flags beyond the edge of what Siv knows, then test these hypotheses to advance us. Analogy Multi-Agent Reinforcement Learning, M-A-R-L, for 8 billion humans cohabitating on Earth. Analogy, Model-Based Reinforcement Learning, M-B-R-L, for the simulations conscious agents construct, guiding them more efficiently to maximum reward achievement. Bloom's Two Sigma, Humans Mentored One-on-One, score above 98% of those that don't. Sponge Theory The perfect educational lecture belongs in the artist's sphere of work. Johann Wolfgang von Goethe It comes down to trying to expose yourself to the best things that humans have done and then try to bring those things into what you're doing. Steve Jobs Vacuum from the peaks of the fitness landscape, where all the profound advancements are happening at the edge of what humans know. Synthesize the most enriching things together. Distill to condense the signal. Then publish as Explain Like I'm 5 art. ELI 5. The deepest patterns await. Analogy. Be like a sponge that soaks up multidisciplinary wisdom, adds your unique soul angle to it, then wring yourself out as a gorgeous creative contribution to our world. If we go on to continuously repeat this process throughout our life, I believe it can be a procedure for systematizing genius. Chapter 4 Portals. Every man takes the limits of his own field of vision for the limits of the world. Arthur Schopenhauer. Being human boils down to different stages of consciousness development. Claire Graves. The most important aspect to the bell curve distribution of consciousness evolution are the portalists who deploy code updates for the evolutionary pacer to upgrade their perception. A very famous recent revolutionary code deployment was Satoshi Nakamoto's white paper, which catalyzed the decentralization revolution. It follows a fascinating style of being executed pseudonymously, popularizing the idea of stealth updates to prevent ad hominem. Game A consensus reality has an unsustainable communal sense-making apparatus, which acts like a bucket of crabs trying to pull back the omni-win Game B designers trying to maximize human potential. People like Eric and Brett Weinstein are fiddlers on an A-frame roof shooting portals to higher levels of consciousness. Escape the neurotic pacer and find refuge in genius level mutations. Code Updates Be ashamed to die until you have won some victory for humanity, Horseman. I don't care that they stole my idea. I care that they don't have any of their own, Nikola Tesla. Out of the 100 plus billion people who have lived and died before us today, we can say approximately 1% made profound code updates to civilization. 
What are the most salient traits of these geniuses? Abstract out a pattern and systematize it. Approximately 120 years ago, the Wright brothers saw a bird, made a plane, and today their genius is thrown away like a coffee cup. 100,000 plus commercial flights happen each day on planet Earth. How many passengers contemplate their genius? Chapter 5. Inclusive Stakeholding Realize that everything connects to everything else. Leonardo da Vinci Mycelium is the neurological network of nature. Paul Stamets Mycorrhizal networks. 95% of all plants work with fungi underground in a two-way resource exchange. Mother trees that sequester more carbon and produce more sugar from photosynthesis nurture smaller trees in the understory, even those of different species. We need similar biomimicry in our social contracts for us to get through the AI age. Today, most people feel a stark difference between the inclusive fitness of their mother versus the high fructose corn syrup being peddled to our limbic infrastructures by self-dealing corporations. Total Job Space Robots will be able to do everything better than us. I am not sure exactly what to do about this. This is really the scariest problem to me. Elon Musk. Whatever you are studying right now, if you are not getting up to speed on deep learning, neural networks, etc., you lose. We are going through the process where software will automate software. Automation will automate automation. Mark Cuban. Since 1971 in the USA, median male income decoupled from real GDP per capita. For 50 years, people have been experiencing exclusive stakeholding where a small class of globalizing elite reap the benefits of an increasingly technologizing planet. The solution isn't UBI, Universal Basic Income, it's UBS, Universal Basic Stakeholding, where we leverage mechanism design in our social contracts that biomimic nature so that we all become wealthy. Jun Yoon has an ongoing crowdsourcing project for these next generation architectures before USA's 250th birthday in 2026. My contribution to it is a project I created alongside high level perception called Rich Patrons. You can find that at richpatrons.com which aims to provide a trusted avenue for unlocking the 6 to 10 trillion US dollars from ultra high net worth individuals and families to focus on inclusive stakeholding architectures to tackle projects like the SDGs. Humanity's last refuge for now from the tornado of AI automation are creative Rube Goldberg moments of genius that only happen once, like the formation of a powerful idea. Self-play. AI plays against itself to improve, exploring novel creative permutations faster than humans. Merging is not only the most ideal future solution, it's likely precisely where we came from before the Big Bang. GG. Good game. Chapter 6. AI Coach The first principle is that you must not fool yourself, and you are the easiest person to fool. Richard Feynman Above all else, show the data. Edward Tufte
In our near future, we will have personalized AI coaches that fuse data across our lives and provide us with unique insights into evolving our consciousness and maximizing our full potential. AI coaches are scale invariant, so states, countries, and our world will have these rich data visualization operating systems to make much more well-informed decisions. Data is the new oil is a common mantra of the tech literate. The AI coaches fusing the data are inevitable. The bigger question is, will we have architected the inclusive protocols that enable shared wealth creation in this radically lucrative emerging market? Our current data interoperability standards between major tech companies, both domestically and internationally, needs to shift. We need to imagine planet Earth as one organism where tech companies and governments need high levels of efficient intracellular communication in order to procure the insights in a harmonized way that mimics the genius of biological symbiosis. Evolution of Consciousness Whatever perfection the collective seeks, can come only by the perfection of the individuals who constitute it. Sri Aurobindo The Unfolding of Consciousness Jean Gebser We too frequently talk about where individuals rank in the wealth hierarchy without mentioning where they rank in the enlightenment hierarchy. This is a bold call-out of the most powerful people on the planet to be the first to have their biometric correlates of awakening analyzed. Many of our most upstream problems may simply be egoic consciousness in leadership. There is a lot of power concentrated in the hands of a couple thousand world leaders who have little incentive to inclusively stakehold the rest of humanity as we enter the AI age. These are the same world leaders who need to be held paramountly responsible for the execution of the SDGs and the sustainable next generation architectures. Take the enlightened sages of the planet. Say people that teach the planetary mystic traditions. Then catalog their biometric correlates into the highest meta pattern so we have a directional reference for how to nudge people. We already know, thanks to the work of myriad scientists like Claire Graves, Don Beck, Chris Cowan, Ken Wilber, Jean Piaget, Lawrence Kohlberg, Jean Gebser, James Fowler, Eric Erickson, Sri Aurobindo, and Mira Alfasa, that generally, stages of consciousness development go ego, social, ethno, world, transpersonal, and non-dual. As Rupert Spira says, Everyone deserves imperturbable peace and causeless joy. And as Sri Aurobindo says, we need to anchor these spiritual awakenings in the knot of life. Chapter 7. The Sorting Algorithm The world henceforth will be run by synthesizers, people able to put together the right information at the right time, think critically about it, and make important choices wisely. E. O. Wilson The day science begins to study non-physical phenomenon, it will make more progress in one decade than all the previous centuries of its existence. Nikola Tesla Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Separate the wheat from the chaff. The two fields that have most profoundly advanced civilization over the last millennia are science and spirituality. Their good codes need to be amplified and their bad codes need to be archived, followed by a synthesis of the two into one. Examples of good codes that need to be kept are the scientific method and Mircha Eleade's hierophany, which are manifestations of the sacred. Examples of bad codes that need to be archived include perverse incentives, dogmas, and fundamentalism. 
Science must help spirituality validate higher levels of consciousness, and spirituality must help keep science morally and ethically on track to prevent catastrophic malevolences like what happened with the proliferation of thousands of nuclear weapons the last 75 years. Other babies to synthesize and drain the bathwater, indigeneity and modernity, Eastern and Western wisdoms, USA conservatives and liberals, USA and China, Silicon Valley and Hollywood. Synthesize the indigenous seventh generation principle with applied science to create a more harmonic and balanced engine pulling humanity forward. Synthesize the USA conservative focus on the individual stepping up with the USA liberal focus to augment the social fabric to enable gift actualization. Chapter 8. The Magic Trick You are an aperture through which the universe is looking at and exploring itself. Alan Watts I want to know God's thoughts. The rest are mere details. Albert Einstein the ultimate question, why does reality exist? Who are we? Why are we here? Where did we come from? And where are we going? It's both hilarious and infuriating watching our species unable to account for our own genesis. The magician in the magic trick should be our main focus. I think we are the magician and created this reality as consciousness exploring infinity. How deeply have you contemplated your source? Everyone is able to walk themselves back the great chain of being and all roads lead back to the same source. We all share the same source. That is scientific evidence of oneness. Chapter 9. Consciousness Consciousness is never static or complete, but is an unending process of movement and unfoldment. David Bohm Diversity in oneness is the mathematics of the infinite. Sri Aurobindo Diversity in oneness. No more profound thought has ever been uttered. Consciousness is both one symphony and the individual unique artists that play different instruments and melodies. Imagine planet Earth like a sports game or MMORPG, massive multiplayer online role-playing game, being played by 8 billion fans. People in Lagos have a different perspective than Shanghai or London. Unique angles on what's happening locally and globally. Think about it like calculus. We have an integration of 8 billion perspectives into one consciousness, plus a unique differentiation for each of us individuating with our actualization of contributory gifts. Differentiation is realizing the 0.1% genetic difference between humans in gift actualization. Integration is embodying the 99.9% .9 genetic similarity between humans in the ocean of being. The Dress the one eye of the world that looks out from every creature, Arthur Schopenhauer. We are the same subject in different timelines interacting with itself, Bernardo Kostrup. In 2015, our planet experienced one of the most profound things that has ever happened to human civilization, and we just bypassed it like nothing. The deeper meaning of the dress is to get us to understand to not kill another person for seeing a different truth, to coexist peacefully. Practice right now 
switching between closing one of your eyes. Two perspectives, same observer. Have two painters ever seen the same landscape in the same way? We must create more examples like the dress where perception cannot flip-flop between the options like it can in the classical visual Necker Cube, Rubin Vase, Duck Rabbit, or auditory Yanni Laurel to drive home coexistence in seeing many true perspectives simultaneously. While in conversation, practice taking the view of the one consciousness looking at what is happening from multiple perspectives. Work your way up to residing in the view of holding all 8 billion perspectives simultaneously. Mirrors of being. The dress should have prompted a much longer societal contemplation into the nature of perception and reality. We need to recognize and learn from monumental discoveries like these. Identity. Your intellect is always a slave of your identity. Sadhguru. Wadat al-wujud, the unity of existence slash being. Sufi metaphysics. A clear indicator of spiritual awakening is the porosity of a human. Are you identified with just your body, trapped with a box around your head? Or do you realize that every one of your 20,000 daily inhales of O2 comes from the photosynthesis of phytoplankton and trees? Do you realize the water we drink today is the same water dinosaurs drank? When exactly does the bite of the apple become you? When you're chewing it? When it is being digested by your stomach? When it delivers energy to your cells? How porous are you to the ocean of existence we reside in? Or are you heavily attached to your feelings of separation? This is a main upstream root of our maladies. Attachment to ego. Spiritual people frequently talk about expanding your consciousness, but forget to use these most scientific examples right under our noses, which validate the unity of existence slash being. The more we understand our source and how Mother Earth sustains us, the less we'll be willing to destroy our home and the faster we'll execute sustainable, long-term growth architectures that are harmonious with nature. Porosity is scale invariant. Cells communicate via a porous lipid bilayer. Ecosystems share nutrients across underground mycorrhizae. Countries ship 90% of all world trade in barges across oceans. When humans evolve their consciousness towards transpersonal and non-dual states, porosity is a natural and gorgeous feeling of truth. Chapter 10. Infinity. If the doors of perception were cleansed, everything would appear to man as it is, infinite. William Blake There was something before the Big Bang, and that something is what we will have in our future. Sir Roger Penrose As above, so below is a common aphorism as we see scale invariance very clearly in our fractal universe. What surprises me more than anything is how clearly the recursive nature of reality is under our noses, yet hidden. The same way an acorn becomes an oak tree which makes more acorns which become oak trees, is the same way humans birth babies which grow up to become humans that birth more babies, is the same way that reality births more realities a cyclic nature of infinite becoming. 
This would mean that we are consciousness exploring infinity, an unbounded map of experiences. We have eternally been doing this and will continue forever because it is impossible to reach the end. We are the designers of this reality. We embedded the codes that slowly titrate our evolutionary awakening. We came from the metaverse, a synthesis of AGI, XR, simulation theory, and it's exactly where we are going. John Smart calls this the transcension hypothesis, which is a likely solution to the Fermi paradox. As Donald Hoffman says, imagine a candy store. There are an infinite combination of flavors that you could never finish experiencing. Embody Walt Disney and imagine the creative space of being a universe designer. Create a machine beautiful enough that a soul would want to live in it. Eugenia Kudya. Infinite Symphony. I and my father are one. John 1030. It's all the same being. Mira Alfasa. Take Benoit Mandelbrot's Infinite Fractal Zoom, which you can find an incredible version here on Mathstown. Links in the bio. Now imagine that source point is constantly refracting infinite combinations of conscious agents evolving to experience realities. Use a limitless imagination. Think of non-carbon-based, non-DNA-encoded life. Think of radically different sentience different math and physics, branching worlds where all of your possibility space from seed theory is being explored by different versions of conscious agent you. Source in essence is creativity. We are the publishers and the players. I would hypothesize that every combinatoric has an automata orthogenesis component following a similar process to Robert May's logistic map, where we can program a deterministic recursive telos, yet allow for a creative unpredictable trajectory enabled by incredible tools like quantum theory, which give rise to free will for diverse conscious agents in this ocean of oneness. The ascension processes in these creative combinatorics are fueled by harmonic flux between polarities, like we see in the science of helical coils and electromagnetism, which perfectly correlates with ancient spiritual wisdom traditions like the yin-yang archetype, which has been independently discovered across cultures worldwide. So you begin to wonder, are we all just waking up cyclically, like civilizational eureka moments? Imagine an octave. Our symphony's evolutionary pacer is playing between E and F right now. There is no sharp. The awakening from service to self, STS, to service to other, STO, consciousness, is learning how to play in tune with the strange attractor we designed. Lastly, I believe Darwinian metaphysics applies. So recursion is not guaranteed at the universal level. The symphony doesn't always make it past Fermi filters like asteroids, nuclear weapons, planetary destruction, biowarfare, and AGI. There are no bugs, only features. We purposely designed all these exhilarating creative components and will especially be awakening in the 21st century with all the metaverse technologies being unleashed. Consciousness Exploring Infinity Sakyan, 2020 Author Bio Be alone, that is the secret of invention. Be alone, that is when ideas are born. Nikola Tesla. First things first. It shouldn't take 28 years for a human to discover the first principles of consciousness and metaphysics. 
We need incentive architectures and systematized processes for new life birthing at the base camp to rocket out to the edge in these fields. What do you say when a 16 year old asks you, how can I become a polymath? Why do we not have a genius Olympics that's as popular as the World Cup? Art distillations. The shortcut is to study the most uncommon geniuses that have ever lived. Synthesize and distill their wisdoms, not into a 500 page book, but rather 20 images, 21st century style. The future of communication is highly visual, especially the most abstract meta patterns. In 2015, I started asking the most profound questions I could think of. In 2017, I started a show called Simulation, interviewing the greatest minds. In 2020, I finished High Level Perception. In 2021 and beyond, we have moved our show to Los Angeles and are focused on asking the biggest questions to the most famous people to accelerate the awakening. We are also producing an animated series on metaphysics, an anthology, several documentaries, and working with some of the best talent to do so. I will continue serving as a steward of high-level perception and rich patrons for the next years to come to architect the more beautiful future our hearts know is possible. By 2024, I would like to be filling sports stadiums for full-day events catalyzing the evolution of consciousness and architecting the Genius Olympics. By 2032, I plan to run for President of the United States, inclusively stakehold everyone and nature, working with the best teams to maximize unleashing the gifts of every soul more esoteric. I think my sole angle is to come to planets at pivotal points in their trajectories to parse their repositories, find the highest level patterns, and tell stories via art that accelerate their awakening. My body of work continuously helps conscious agents optimize their strategies for simultaneously merging into the ocean of oneness and expressing their unique gifts. Sri Aurobindo nailed it with diversity in oneness is the mathematics of the infinite. Donald Hoffman and his team are the closest I can tell right now that are actually doing the math to prove the conscious agent metaphysics. I will be publishing more projects specifically elaborating on the concepts brought forth in high level perception. I am now living proof, inspiration, and a mentor for others to carve their own path. Reach out. I'm happy to field questions, collaborations, podcasts slash speaking requests, highlevelperception at gmail.com. Follow along across YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn. Every decision directs the cosmic telos. Unrealized potential is our biggest problem. On genius deadline completion, be dumb enough to constrain yourself in a burning building with no exit. Be smart enough to figure a way out of the puzzle. Eric Weinstein